Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create an LPM counter in Quartus. So first you're going to go into New Project Wizard. I had this opened up before, so I'm going to say yes. So now you're going to click next. You're going to call it whatever you want for me. I'm just going to say count test and name it the same thing down here. It'll ask you to create a directory. You say yes. Click next a couple times. Go over here. Select Cyclone 4E. Then you're going to scroll up until you find this exact chip number. Click next again, next again, and then finish. It'll then open up a new project for you. Now you're going to go to new, get a block diagram slash schematic file, and now you're going to go into your IP catalog and you're going to type in LPM and then it'll show you LPM counter over here. Click it and then for the sake of time just call it test. IP variation you want it in VHDL. Click OK. You want this to be 26 bits, and I'll tell you in a second. Now you're going to type in modulus. Now modulus, this is very important. You want to type in the modulus that will pretty much tell you it'll move one blink per second. So that would be 50 megahertz according to the clock itself on the Altera board. If you don't know it, then uh, it should be in the Altera board man manual. You'll find pin underscore Y2 and it'll tell you 50 megahertz is the output from it. Now you'll click next, next again, next again, and then check all of these right here click finish click yes and now finally it'll insert it and you can do whatever you want with this from there on out I'll just show you what to do if you're just trying to get a blinking light on your Altair board Next, you're going to do clock for your input. And then for your output, create another symbol. Call it output. And depending on how fast you want it to blink, you will put Q and then the bit number between 25 and 0 for sake of time we're going to do 25 because that'll show you working in real time with the 50 megahertz all being used up and then you're going to want to bring a bus out but you're going to leave it blank you don't have to connect the output or anything and then do Q25 down to 0 and there you go that will be your block diagram next go ahead go into assignment editor um, I would actually start the compilation first in order to get the pins on here go ahead and save it and at the same time you probably want to get a pin you want to have like a pin spreadsheet open like I will open up right now Go ahead, click that. And try and get the pen assignment sheet while it's up.
Next, you are going to go to the LEDs, and you want the L you can have any of these LEDs pretty much blink. For the sake of time, we'll just use LED for pin underscore G19. And also, for any pin that you are going to use, you are always going to want to use uh, pin underscore Y2, which is the clock pin, and that runs at 50 megahertz. And you pretty much want it to run at 1 hertz per second with this 50 million modulus that we're using. So now, since this is all compiled up, we can go ahead, go to 2, and then look, list the pins. You want your clock and your Q. And you want these all to be both location, pin underscore Y2, and then for Q25, pin underscore G19. And there you go. Next, you're going to compile it again. I do not have an Altera board with me at the time, but if I were to, I would show you guys how the blinking light would work. However, you will not really need me after this point. This will all be just to watch it work in action. After this is all compiled up, I'll show you how to work the programmer, and then you will be all set. And there you go. So now all you would have to do from here is go to tools, go to programmer, and then you would want to select USB Blaster Zero, which would usually be found in the hardware, but since I do not have it on me, you all you would do is just select it and then click start, and then it'll show your board will configure what's going on and you should be able to get a blinking light. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.